Hello guys, this is Death Dealer and we're back on the Vulture SMP server. It's been a while, I do not know what episode is, but yeah, a few things. One, I've cleared this area behind me for today. Two, we're using some shaders. And three, I'm enjoying myself and I left my window open. That's a bad idea. Yeah, I've been busy. Before we do that, look at these beautiful shaders. We're using the Zeus shader pack. Which, in this version, is just beautiful and I've got it set up so that I... Hi. <laughs> so that it has clear water and you can see everything. The way I set it up is I already did the shader packs. What I had to do was I got the most recent up-to-date version of... Optifine, which if I go in here you can see I have all my settings, so that's what I am using. And if you follow me on Twitter, make sure you go and do that. You would have noticed that I've been posting some pictures of the Vulture SMP world, and it's looking beautiful in this park. But I'm afraid we're going to need to turn it off now. This is the first time I've turned it off. Well, I've been playing with this part for about a week now. Even though I haven't been recording Minecraft or anything. And there's a little bit of lag here. Whilst this turns off. So yeah, my game just crashed when I was messing about the shaders. That's one thing, they're slightly unstable so you don't want to click too much because you cause it to have a spasm and die. You're not meant to be in here. Yeah, this feels strange playing with no shaders. I've been playing with them for so long. <laughs> anyway, today's project, if you haven't seen from the thumbnail, what I want to do, as I've said in recent episodes, is I want to turn this greenhouse area, well, I want to actually make it a greenhouse, so we need to put plants and stuff in it. But in this back wall here, I want to have an automatic sugarcane farm. Now this has got to be quite odd, because we can't go any further back. And that's a staircase there uh, which we need to use. So I suppose we'll bring it down this wall, so that means that the sugarcane farm will have to be on this side. And this is the back of the place, so maybe we can have it wrap around this wall as well. But then that means I need to do some stuff. Right, but <laughs> before we do anything, I need to go and get the design, so yeah. Rest of testing world. So I got the design, pulled it straight out of our old LP world, which we don't use anymore for some strange reason. Need to get back to that. Same design that works with the bud switch here. So whenever sugar cane grows, I just pushed off because that's automatic updates. Then signal through here and up here, pushing the pistons. There is a slight challenge; you can lose some drops, but it's not much. And it's a pretty simple design, just uses a few hoppers down the bottom. So I think we should replicate this on the server.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed that music and the time lapse which you just seen. That music was called Clenched Teeth, The Descent by Kevin McLeod. I hope I said that right. You'll see links to it down in the description along with all the creative commons art and all that stuff. So just thought I'd let you know. If you want to see more of them, make sure you hit the like button. Just to tell me. Anyways, in this episode of on the Vulture SP7, I would like to introduce something I like to call the time lapse chat. Which and any time lapse that we do, I would like to have a little talk with you. I won't do them every time lapse, maybe every other one. All depends and if I have any information for you. So that's going to be a thing. Now to start off with the chat today, I'd like to talk about my life. So as you all know, I'm still in school. This is my last year, as well, about a month or so ago, probably a bit more than that now, I applied to college, and let's see, on the time of this recording, a week ago, I went for my interview and I got an unconditional offer, which means I could get in to the course without needing any certain qualifications this year. Now, you may be thinking, college isn't that a bit early for you, you're only 17, 16, even 17 later on this year. Well, it all depends where you are in the world because you get you, um, you get college and university, university here in the UK. Now, you're in America, college would be the equivalent of your university. And our system is strange, so college, then university. That's the thing. I will be starting on August the 29th, I believe. So this week and a bit of next week is my last few weeks in school. Then I'm off for my exam leave. Speaking about exam leave, I'm going on exam leave and the next week, well, a week from now. So that means I'm going to be off school because I have exams, examinations, whatever you want to call them. They are okay. They're spread a week apart. I have four spread across the month of May. I will still be recording videos but it will... They may be delayed but I'll try and do my best. There's some exams at the beginning I don't really care about like English and Maths because I'm good at them now. Other ones I have is, is Chemistry and Computing. Those two I need to study for so in those time periods I will be doing that rather than recording. Now, since I'm going to college, then university, I'd like to talk about my goals for the foreseeable future. Now, the course I'm going to study has a lot to do with the computer industry and in the industry, gaming and software development. Now, that can be anything from designing games, testing them, or even things like going on in video editing, become, go on working in the movie industry as well. So I have plenty of opportunities. I would like, well after I do, I'll be in college for three years, doing the levels. I'm not going to explain what the levels are because it changes from country to country. Then I'll be going on to university. Normally in Scotland for university, you go for four years. Sometimes if you set certain levels in school, you can go in your second year. But since I am staying for three years of college, I'll be able to go into university in my third year. So I'll be at university for two years. Now the university I've picked out has a partnership with a gaming company. And there's another, oh no, all my words. There's another university which I picked out. It doesn't have that partnership, but it's a lot easier to travel to. Because I'd rather not move away from home, but if I have to, I will. And the gaming company they're partnered with is Rockstar Games, the company that makes Grand Theft Auto. So that is a very good opportunity. My, the person who gave me an interview said that one of his former pupils went to that university and got a placement at Rockstar. Now he works six months over in America and six months in the UK. Plenty of opportunities. I would also today like to talk about the new content which has been released in the channel recently, which is Minecraft Factions. Now I've played Factions for years, 
and I've only recently got right into it. Maybe in since November I've been playing it. Playing it with a friend, Artix, his name is. YouTube channel link in the description along with Twitter and a link to the factions video we've done. That video was well received and we'll be doing more in the future. One video per week with a possibility of two if the like goal is reached, which will be five likes. So make sure you go and like that if you want to see more. And well, that's me for today's time lapse chat. So I've done all my work, I've decorated this thing, and it's looking very good. My only problem is I've kind of ran out of time for this episode, even though I've not really recorded much. Well, I have, but the episode isn't very long due to time constraints and because I haven't released an episode of this in like two weeks, so I better get one up this week. Which is why I'm rushing this end part, because if I rush this end part, I can then get finish editing, because I've already edited everything else and upload it tonight, which I hope to do. So finish this quickly. Yeah, wait. That was quite easy to do. I luckily had enough resources, only just. But I suppose I'll do the rest off camera like decorating these walls. Bought a system for taking away the sugar cane, putting in chests somewhere. And we even do the what potato farm I hope to do here. Because we're running low on food. Yeah. And also hide that redstone. Which we'll do when we're building the staircase which I'll probably do off camera as well. Because I wish to do some more things, different things, and well, I haven't really had that opportunity yet, but do I do? Since we've basically nearly finished with the base, well, spawn home. I think we're looking quite good. I looked at this in the shaders I have, but it doesn't look too nice with the way this all is, but it isn't meant to look nice with shaders. It's meant to do its purpose, which is fun. And we'll do a demonstration. Um, so, pump down my volume so it doesn't feed back in the mic. Basically, what happens is when a sugar cane grows, this pushes it off. Simple. I bolt the support strut into the redstone block section so you can't see the sticky piston, and it looked a lot more, a lot better. I would have liked to use a darker texture, I would have, with that, instead of the sand, but I don't like dirt to show. It's completed builds like this, so the sand will do. It's a clean block, so that's fine. Anyways, that's me for today. I hope you enjoyed this. This is episode 5, I just discovered. Good. Um, anything else to note? No, not really. Next episode, I don't really have any plans. I don't even know when that's going to be released, to be honest. Uh, it all depends on what work I get done. This episode is a little bit different with the time lapses and stuff. That was the first time lapse, time lapses I've done. So I told them a few things with Premiere Pro, but I got it. So if you want to see more, hit that like button. And if you're new and you enjoy this content, subscribe to then get notified on all my uploads. I'm Death there, and thank you all for watching. Make sure you check out the next episode. You know the drill. In the end card, there will be a few videos which you can check out. Make sure you go to the playlist for Vulture SMP and you will see all of my videos. And that's me. I'll see you guys next time.